We're just doing a tasting today of all the 2012 vintage wines. Uh, each glass represents a barrel. They're in categories. These are Pinot Noir, and these are uh, like Sally's Paddock, and Section 2, and some Back Paddock, Merlot Cab, um, and there's uh, some more Sally's Paddocks. Um, and we're just going to go through them all to uh, try and determine which wines may wind up in the Sally's Paddock blend, um, and uh, what we do with all the rest of them. Um, normally we categorise wines as uh, Sally's Paddock wines, the wines that actually come from that single vineyard, um, may wind up in Sally's Paddock. Otherwise, uh, our next category is Sally's Hill, um, which is wines from the south side and from the north side, and sometimes the west side. And then there's the varietals like Merlot or Malbec or Pinot Noir, and we deal with them all separately. And um, it'll take us a while to work through this. And uh, my charming assistant, Sasha, who is the winemaker here, yeah. uh, is heating them up because it's the end of May and it's cold in the winery. And the wines are a little bit cold to, to start. So we just take the chill off them so that we can get, them, get, get the aromas coming out of the glass and get a really good look at them. Okay, well it's now six hours later and we're much happier and uh, we think we've finally come up with the magic elixir. You know, Sally's Paddock is this blend of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz, Cabernet Franc, and, uh, which is a significant uh, variety in the blend. And uh, so a small amount of Merlot and, and tiny amount of Malbec. Um, and the the aim here is to, to capture all of those um, in one complete wine, which is, doesn't have a varietal characteristic. The problem for us in 2012 is that the varietals were extremely prominent. The Shiraz was very Shirazi. The Cabernet Franc was extremely Cabernet Franc. -y. And um, in order to get them to marry together, it took us a lot longer than usual. Um, but we're happier than usual because it's a beautiful wine. And um, so it's now the end of May and we'll probably bottle uh, in September and, uh, and uh, release it about that time or at least preview it about that time for a November release. So uh, we're all happy, happy drinking. Keep drinking your 2010s in the meantime.